I'm Yuto, a sophomore studying in university. As you can tell, I'm a down bad otaku. I should have a home. I have to catch today's manicure episode. What's up, Mr. Otaku? I should as always. Uh, uh, hey guys, are you heading home to watch anime again? At least go on dates or something. Of course, Mr. Otaku doesn't have a girlfriend. Hey, stop it. He does have one. Inside a screen, that is. <laughs> right. Is that what they call 2D waifus? How depressing is it to have a girlfriend you can't even touch? I know, right? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Why can't they just mind their own business? It's true that I'm a hardcore otaku. I spend all the money I earn part-time on manga, anime, and games. There aren't any fellow otakus around me, so I haven't made any friends either. I haven't had a single girlfriend in my life either. Uh, I've made at least a hundred in games, though. Yutachi, you hear? It's Keita! Let's hang out! Keita-san, it's good to see you! Keita-san is my only friend who I met at my part-time job. I bought a new fighting game the other day. Let's try it together! Nice! Sounds good to me! Keita-san is a great person who never judges my otaku side. Furthermore, he even understands it and plays games with me. Aya! Oh no! Oh, what's up, Yuto? <laughs> You're looking lame as ever! <laughs> you got any plans today? Well, I'm thinking of heading home and playing games after class. Ah, huh, then you're invited to our group date later tonight. W why me? We don't have enough people. B but I've never been on a group date before. Hey, don't tell me you're disobeying Eiji-kun. You aren't declining my offer, are you? Uh, Alright, I'll go. Ha, huh, then I'd better see you tonight. You know what's coming if you don't show up. Uh, why is this happening? W why is it at my part-time restaurant of all places? It must be Eiji-kun's doing. I bet he wants to embarrass me at my workplace. Alright, everyone's here and the drinks arrived, so let's get started. Cheers! Cheers. Alright, then let's start off with self-introductions. Can I ask the girls to start? I'm Eiko, a sophomore. My hobbies are cooking and traveling. I'm Biko, and I'm also a sophomore. My hobbies are shopping and watching movies. I'm trying to hook up with someone. Um, I'm Kaede, a sophomore. My hobbies are watching anime and playing games. Ugh, who the hell is that? She's ugly, so I guess she's off my list. <laughs> Why is a girl like that at a group date? <laughs> what kind of getup is that? <laughs> she's into anime and games? Maybe I can try talking with her. Thanks for the introductions. Now let's get started on the guy's side. I'm Eiji, a sophomore like everyone else. My hobbies include taking photos and football. I'm looking to hook up. I'm Eiji's friend, a sophomore student. My hobbies include football and outdoor live performances. I'm also looking to hook up. Um, I I'm, uh, my name is Yuto. Uh, I I'm a sophomore. W what I like, uh, no, my hobbies are, um... Hey, come on! I know you aren't used to girls, but that's way too much stuttering. <laughs> That's the most typical shy otaku self-introduction I've ever heard! <laughs> oh, is that shirt what they call an otaku's uniform? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen anyone wear something like that in public. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting! Here's your deep-fried chicken and cabbage as your appetizer! Yutochi, I'm rooting for you! Keita-san! That's right, it's only just begun, so I have to try my best. I'm Yuto, a junior. My hobbies include consuming manga, anime, and games. I like them to the point that I spend most of my part-time earnings on them. Uh, 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 I see. I like that he isn't trying to hide anything. And he's an otaku too. Alright, let's move on to one-on-one -on -one chatting sessions. Hey, that's what I've been waiting for. Yeah! Sounds good. That's Manny Fairy from Monocure, right? Yep, that's right. I love that character! Her transparent wings are pretty and her small size is cute too! I get what you mean. The expression she makes while fighting is also nice. I know, right? Ugh, watching them kinda pisses me off. An otaku goes well with an ugly hag like her. 
but we can't just let them have fun without us. Yo, Yuto. Hmm? Huh? What's wrong? Isn't the girl in your shirt feeling kind of thirsty? Um, what do you mean? I'm asking if she's feeling thirsty. If she's thirsty, we better give her a drink. What? Ah, it's so cold! <laughs> she's looking pretty satisfied. Hey, Yuto, you're looking pretty sexy, aren't you? How could you? That's going too far. Even I feel bad for him. Come on, Yuto. You can't just keep wearing a soaking wet shirt inside a store. Huh? No, it's embarrassing. Hey, I said take it off. Uh, no, stop. Well, what the hell? How is he so ripped with a tattoo and he's an otaku? Huh? What's this gap between his look and character? I think I might be into it. Look at his muscles. That tattoo, too. Is he more of a rebel than he seems? That's so cool. Uh... Well, if it isn't the young master. You want a group date, sir? How smooth. Sir, your clothes are cloaked. Who the hell was it who did this to the young master? Uh, uh, th that's... Was it you two? Ah? Uh? You really think we just let you leave after disgracing the young master like that? We just thought it might liven up the mood. We didn't mean any harm. The young master's father is a Yakuza boss known by anyone who's involved in this world. By doing what you did to someone like him. You know what's coming, don't you? <laughs> That's enough. But, sir, it's embarrassing. So I'm telling you to leave. Hmm. If that is what you wish. Hey, we're leaving. Roger. Uh, are we safe? Uh, that was terrifying. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, they ruined a group date. Uh, we're so sorry. We'll never do it again, so please forgive us. We're sorry. So you're the son of the Yakuza? That's so cool. Hey, could you go out with me? Huh? Uh, sorry, but... Uh, I like Kaede-san. Me? Uh, didn't know you thought he was the son of a Yakuza boss. I was scared of what might happen, but it seems like it turned out okay. Excuse me, could you deliver this t-shirt to the young master? I have a feeling he'll get pissed if I go out there again. Alright, leave it to me. I didn't expect Kaede-san to be living in the same apartment as me. I was surprised too. What a coincidence. After the group date, Kaida-san happened to live in the same apartment as me, so I ended up seeing her off to her room. Thank you so much for seeing me off. I was so surprised when I found out you were the son of a Yakuza boss. Uh, um... I guess you won't like me now that you know. Um, please wait a moment. It's only natural you wouldn't want to associate with someone related to the Yakuza. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, huh? Who, who are you? It's me, Kaede. <laughs> I'm actually the daughter of the Mafia. You're the what? I guess you won't like me anymore. N no, not at all. I have a feeling that I'll be enjoying my university life a lot more from here on. My name is Kakiru. I'm a junior in high school. Kind of weird saying it myself, but I'm what some would say introverted. I prefer staying home. I love reading comics and watching anime, so my days alone were not too bad. But there was one little problem. Where the hell is Kakaru? Oh my god, was she home? Who's that beast, you ask? That's my big sister, Sumire. Kakaru, hear me out. I was dumped by another guy today. <sighs> oh, yeah. Sorry to hear that. You really think you're gonna land a boyfriend with those muscles and no makeup? It was not just one guy either. It was 20 guys. They all rejected me. Mm, being a bit greedy there, sis. I'm just so pissed. I can't believe these guys would shrug off such a cute and attractive woman like me. Uh, don't worry about it. You'll find the perfect guy someday. Thanks for that, Kakaru. Such a good kid brother. So, you'll help me out with my stress relieving exercise, right? No, please, not that again. Don't worry. I'll go easy on you this time. Has it ever been easy? Ow! Ow! Oh, holy crap! Ah. Whoa, now that was refreshing. 
Thanks, little bro. You're gonna regret this. <laughs> My sister gets dumped by guys practically every day, and to relieve the stress, she takes it out on me. I wish she would just stop. I'm sick of this crap. But I don't have the strength to go up against that muscle-bound sister of mine, so I'm left to her mercy. Due to some twist of fate, I was assigned a desk with two beautiful girls sitting on either side of me, Yuzuki and Ryo. They are both super smart and both very cute. As a result, they are the most popular girls at school. When I moved up to my second year, I ended up in the same class as these two beauties. But I have never even spoken to them, yet. It's been a month already. I suppose I should at least say hello, introduce myself maybe. Huh, uh, good morning. Holy crap, what did I just do, you idiot? Hey sis, uh huh, home already? Hey Kakaru, guess what? I was dumped by a bunch of jerks. Was it like 30 jerks? No, it was 50. I keep telling you, you're being way too greedy. These guys just don't see my inner beauty. So, Kakaru, I'm really stressed out. Ready to help out your big sister for another stress relief session? Oh, please, not again. Calm down. I'll go real easy on you today. I've heard that line before. Stay the hell away from me. Come on, Kakaru, don't be shy. I'm not friggin' being shy. <laughs> I give up. I give up. Not quite yet, little brother. We're just getting started. You need to work out more. We're not even through the first stage. This is just a warm-up. I said I give up already. <laughs> Please, stop. <laughs> As always, I was totally at her mercy. Yeah, that just about does it. feel way better already. Thanks, bro. Oh, treating me like some old rag doll. When is this gonna ever end? Oh, whoa, I hurt so much. I can't even stand. Uh, nothing's busted, I hope. Hmm, this does not look good. Who is this? Too handsome to be a doctor. Man, if my sister ran into him, she would go batshit crazy. No doubt he would dump her right off the bat. <laughs> Is it really that bad, Doc? Yeah, pretty beat up for sure. How'd you get this way? My sister, she takes her frustration out on me whenever a guy dumps her, which is like every day. Mmm, not a loving sister, I see. No, totally the opposite. I'm going to have to insist that your sister stops. You're on the verge of getting seriously injured. You let this go on and you're looking at permanent damage. Huh? Permanent damage, Doc? You mean like broken bones or getting bedridden? No matter what I say to my sister, she would never stop with her so-called stress relief sessions. What the hell am I supposed to do? Huh? Isn't that... Hey, babes. You chicks are super cute. Wanna go have some fun with us? Yeah, we're always having fun. We know what fun is. You're missing out on a great opportunity, girls. <laughs> uh, hey guys, that's enough. Huh? Who's this little weasel? Get lost, wimp. This is none of your business. Oh my god. I should just cut and run. I can't let you harass them. Come on, I'll take you guys on. Man, you really can't take a hint, you little weasel. Get ready for the beating of your life. Stop being the hero saving the babies. You want a whooping? You got it, wimp. What have I gotten myself into? Not gonna win this one, for sure. Holy crap! What the hell was that? Hmm. Huh? Hey, wait up! And don't worry, we're not gonna harm you. Sis stayed over at a friend's place yesterday, so it didn't get the usual workout. <laughs> Man, what a relief. Uh, why am I constantly surrounded by such violent women? Good morning, Kakaru. Yeah, morning, Kakaru. Huh? Yeah, right. What the? Uh, good morning. Yeah, thanks for trying to help us out yesterday. Yeah, appreciate it. Huh? Yeah, well, I really didn't do anything. 
That's not true. You saw it yesterday, and it's obvious we can handle ourselves, so we never had anyone stick up for us. We were overjoyed that you would stand up against those thugs for us. Yeah, thanks. We mean it. Huh. Right. Kakaru, you're always bruised up. Are you doing some kind of sport? Football or something? No, nothing like that. Well, truth be told, I got this gorilla-like sister and she takes out her frustration on me like every day. That's all. <laughs> really? Are you serious? I went to the clinic yesterday and the doc said it could get serious if it escalates. Good heavens! Even if you're related, that's going way too far. Don't you resist? Or like, ever fight back? Are you kidding? She won't listen to me one bit. Resist? No friggin' way. Oh, got an idea. Okay, we'll train you how to resist. Then we can get back at your sister. Come on, let's do this together. Oh yeah, forgot to mention it, but we're both black belts in Aikido. Huh? You guys? Really? Okay, now I get it. That's why you two are so strong. If these two train me, I may just be able to get back at my sister and stop this abuse once and for all. Can I, a little weakling like me, really become strong? Of course. Natch. So, my training began with these two wonderful girls. Okay, get ready for some really heavy-duty training. You're not going home until you got this. Uh, I should go home after training. Besides, I live pretty close by. But if you go home, well, your sister is going to give you a workout, isn't that right? You get injured and you won't get the training you need. Better if you stay here for a while, until you're ready. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I decided to take up Yuzuki and Ryo's advice. I would stay over at the dojo and get trained 24-7. Let's start with the basics. If you learn the basics common to all skills, you'll get way better at it. First of all, if you learn Shogyo, you will be able to throw in all directions and throw people using your wrist. Got it. Grab your opponent, like this. Yeah, I got it. Wow, it's a very subtle movement of arms, feet, and waist. This may be the first time that a woman other than my sister has touched me like this. It might be a little difficult at first, so let's take it slow, okay? Next, I'll teach you. Flexibility is also important in Aikido, so let's do gymnastics to make the muscles softer. Now, sit on this side with your legs outstretched and bend forward. Oh god, it doesn't bend. At first, yeah. Don't worry, I'll help you. Don't give up on us, Kakaru. Whoa, do we really need to be this close? I continued to do stretching exercises with Yuzuki trying to ignore the obvious attraction toward her. After a few hours... Please, no more, no more. I can't go on any longer. Kakaru, you did a great job. Let's shower and get some much needed sleep. Yes, it is also important to give your body proper rest. Oh my God, is this really happening? Don't we usually get separate rooms or is this part of the training? Oh my, over here too? Whoa, how do you expect me to sleep in this situation? One month passed since we started the training. So, here you are. I finally found you. Where have you been? Ah, uh, uh, sis, uh, how did you find me? I needed some stress relief, but you were nowhere to be found. Went looking all over for you. You are persistent, I'll give you that. While you were gone... I was dumped by a thousand guys. I just wanted to let you know that. Wait one second. You make it sound like it was my fault. The reason you got dumped has nothing whatsoever to do with me. Hey, this is great timing. Yeah, this is a great opportunity to show your sister that you're no longer the person you used to be. Isn't that right, Kakaru? Huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Ugh. First of all, you must not take your eyes off your opponent. Keep an eye on her and sidestep. Then, let the opponent's weight carry them forward and... Now! Put your right hand on your opponent's left elbow. Grab the opponent's left arm from below with your left hand. 
Race your left leg off the ground, drops the center, and then throw! What the? That was great! That technique worked flawlessly. That was so cool! I can't believe it was the first time he used it. Thanks to you guys, I really showed her. Hey sis, no more stress relief sessions if you don't mind. Yeah, okay. After that encounter, she never approached me again. My sister is no longer a problem. Is it really necessary to keep practicing? We haven't taught you all there is about Aikido yet. There is still a lot to learn. Yeah, come on, practice with us a little more. I... Uh, I just need to be moderately strong. Now that we've come this far, you should practice until you can beat both of us. Yeah, and besides, Kakaru, you seem to have a talent for Aikido. Yeah? You think so? It seems that Ryo and Yuzuki's teaching will continue. My name is Hajime, and I'm a junior in high school. My talents? I don't have any. I'm going to have to study for university entrance exam next school year. But it's only the first semester of my junior year. My classmates are still playing around. Everyone always seems so busy going karaoke or bowling. Hey, let's go karaoke! Again? I wanna go to the gaming center. Why not? Let's go to karaoke! I want to go to one where they have unlimited ice cream! I want to go to the one with unlimited pancakes! I don't think they have that anywhere? Huh? Oh, are you wondering why I sound so detached? That's because I have no friends. My only friends are... Hajime Bison! Let's go hunting! Yeah, I prepared new equipment yesterday. Oh, are you talking about the new release from yesterday? Look at you, Hajime Bison! As expected! My online friends are the online ones from Money Hunter, but I mean, I have no friends in real life. Hasn't it been super hot recently? Right? It's like summer already! Uh, honestly... I'm kinda thirsty now. Yeah. Hey, Hajime. Yeah? Go buy us some drinks. What? Uh, I don't want to. What? Are you going to go against our orders? Gosh, who do you think you are? A girl is saying that they're thirsty. The least you can do is go buy us a drink. If you don't go buy it in the next 10 seconds, I'm going to punch you in the stomach. Starting the timer. Now. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7. 7. I, uh, I'll go buy it. <laughs> I swear, Hajime's so lame. <laughs> His scared face makes me laugh every single time. I want cafe au lait. I want a Coke. I want a Coke too. Uh, why do I have to do this? Reiji became my classmate at the beginning of this year. I was trying to play games quietly so that I wouldn't stand out. But one day, I became his target. He never even gave me back the money from when I bought him bread last time. Hey. Huh? You, what are you doing? I is that... Yakubi-kun? My awful day just turned into hell! I've never spoken to him before, but according to rumors, he's beaten up a bunch of troublemakers at other schools, or made gang members cry by tying them up. He's the strongest student in our school, and has a big record on his shoulders. It was troublesome being Reiji's target. I couldn't have him bothering me too. Uh, um... Why are you holding so many drinks? Is someone making them your chore, boy? Uh-huh. Come on, give them to me. I'll help you carry them. Just like that, Yakubi tried to grab the drinks that I was holding. Huh? Is he a good person after all? I it's fine. I'm pretty sure that I'll get in trouble if I don't do it on my own. Uh, thank you, though. But... Really, I I'm fine. Hey, hold on a second. Huh? What is it? It's just... If you need help, don't hesitate to ask me, okay? I will. Uh, thanks. Yakubi-kun, you're a pretty nice guy. I thought you were scary at first. Uh... I already knew this would happen, but I didn't get the money for the drinks back either. My allowance is about to run out soon. If I keep doing things like this, I won't be able to buy the game that I was planning to buy this month. Huh? <laughs> it's Airi-chan! Let me explain. Airi-chan is ranked number one in our school on the list of girls that boys want to date. Her hair is brown, long, and silky smooth. I couldn't tell whether it was laundry detergent or shampoo, but every time you walked by her, she smells super good. When she smiles, her angelic smile makes you feel like you're in a garden full of flowers. Uh, I bet I'd be the happiest man on earth if Airi-chan was my girlfriend. Yes, to tell you the truth, Airi-chan was my first crush, and the girl that I'm currently crushing on. I mean, I know it's impossible to be in a relationship with her, but I'd like to talk to her at least once. 
A few days later, on that day, I was playing games on my phone as usual. Hey, hey, Hajime! Wh what If you like games so much, why don't you play one with us? You play games every single day, so you must be good at them. Our game will be just as fun. You'll play. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, I will. I had a bad feeling about this, but I was scared to go against them, so I decided to follow along. Okay. This is the game we're going to play today. What? Can Hachime even play the punching game? An introvert trying his best to use a punching machine? Just thinking about it makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm going to make you lose so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that it's a normal game at least. Okay, I'll go first then. Wow, Reiji, you almost got a perfect score. Oh, man, I lost to Reiji. 85 points. Tanaka, are you a girl or something? <laughs> okay, next. Hajime, it's your turn. O okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 42 <laughs> points. Even a girl can score higher than that. You're so lame. I guess this is what I expected from the beginning. There's no way that I can score above 90 points in a game like this. Okay then. So for Hajime-kun, the loser, you have a punishment game. What? A punishment game? It's a competition. So there's obviously going to be a punishment game. Did you actually think we were just going to play this thing and be done? You're so clueless, it's funny. You're hilarious. <laughs> the punishment game is... The loser has to confess their feelings to Airi Takasaki. What? Why? C -c 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 confess? my feelings he can't even talk properly because of how shocked he is <laughs> don't be embarrassed everyone already knows that you have feelings for Airi. that's why we're going to be your cupid <laughs> you always pretend to act nonchalant but we know you're always staring at her we know you stop using your phone whenever Airi walks by uh, i can't do that you're going to be rejected anyways, so you have nothing to be scared about. You lost the competition, so you obviously have to pull through with the punishment game, right? This is normal. If you really don't want to do it, I can prepare a different punishment for you. Who knows? The other punishment game might be worse. Oh, uh, okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. The next day. I've always had a crush on you. Please, be in a relationship with me. Um, Hajime-kun. I know that you're a nice person, but we never even talked, so I don't think I can think of you like that right away. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Did he actually think she'll say yes? It's literally their first time talking. It's even funnier that he's in shock. Just like that, my first crush abruptly left me brokenhearted. Two years later, my high school years were awful. Reiji and his friends continued to make me their chore boy. In addition, there was a rumor that I was a crazy guy that confessed his feelings to a girl he's never spoken to. I never got the chance to speak to Airi-chan. I barely got to have a fun high school experience as the final punch before graduation. Is that Airi-chan and Reiji? They're dating? Huh? Uh, hey. Uh, why do I get dumped while someone like Reiji gets to be Airi-chan's girlfriend? What's wrong about me, huh? Uh, uh, did I fall asleep? Why am I in the classroom? Hey, Hajime. Go buy us some drinks. What? Are you going to go against our orders? Gosh, who do you think you are? A girl is saying that they're thirsty. The least you can do is go buy us a drink. If you don't go buy it in the next 10 seconds, I'm going to punch you in the stomach. Starting the timer now. 10, Ten nine, 9, 8, eight 7. seven. I, I'll go buy it. <laughs> I swear, Hajime is so lame. I want caviolet. I want a Coke. I want a Coke, too. What's happening? That conversation was the exact same one I had two years ago, when I confessed my feelings to Airi-chan. Did I travel through time? Hey. Uh-huh. You, what are you doing? It's the same. If I remember correctly, yakubi can started talking to me and... Why are you carrying so many drinks? Is someone making you their chore boy? Does that mean, if I make different decisions on this day, my future might look a little different? I didn't understand what was going on, but I decided to bet on the one chance I had. To tell you the truth, yeah, I am. I knew it. It's Reiji and his friends, right? They like doing stupid things like this. Give them to me. I'll help you. Just like that, Yakubi tried to take the drinks from my hand, but... It's fine. This is something I need to handle on my own. But there's a favor I wanted to ask from you. Will you help me out? A few days later. Okay, this is the game we're going to play today. 
What? Can Hachime even play the punching game? An introvert trying his best to use a punching machine? Just thinking about it makes me laugh! <laughs> I'm going to make you lose so hard! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go first then. The conversation is the exact same as last time, but Eiji got 97 points, and I got 42 points. The punishment game is... The loser has to confess their feelings to Airi Takahashi. Okay, this is where I begin my new challenge. The next day, he's obviously going to get rejected. I don't think he's ever talked to Airi either. If an introvert has to talk to me alone out of nowhere and confesses his feelings to me, I'd be so scared. I'm excited to see how Airi's going to reject him. Do, did he always look like that? Isn't he being a little too enthusiastic? Uh, Hachime-kun? Sorry for making you wait. I've never spoken to you, so I know you don't know what kind of person I am. And you might think it's scary because this is so sudden, but I've always had a crush on you. Please, be in a relationship with me. If you're okay with just me. So, so this is what being in heaven feels like. Uh, really? Yeah. Wow, I'm so happy. What? What the hell is happening? Why is Airi going to date Hajime? Reiji, Hajime stole Airi from you before you could ask her out! You've always had a crush on Airi too, right? Are you heartbroken? Shut up! You! Who the hell do you think you are? You, stop right there. What? Stop messing with me! This is... How am I supposed to be okay with this? Just let me punch him one time! What are you doing? I can't believe you're gonna use violence! I hate you, Reiji Coon! Well, she hates me. She hates me. Hates me. Okay, the little third wheel is going to leave now. Wait, Yakubi Kun. Um, thank you so much. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm glad she said yes to you. Hachimi Kun. Are you friends with Yakubi Kun? Yeah, but just recently. The truth is, he taught me how to change my look so that I could confess my feelings to you. He taught me how to use hair wax and everything. Hmm. Yakubi Kun's actually nice then. Would you rather date Yakubi Kun than me? Nope, not at all. Um, can I hold your hand? Sh sure. Hey. Yeah? How long have you had a crush on me? Since a long time ago. Gosh, I'm asking how long ago is a long time ago. A long time ago is a long time ago. What? So when was the first time we talked? Well, that was... Uh, it's a secret. Gosh, tell me. Bonus clip. I heard Hajime and Airi have been doing good after that. Oh, uh, who would have thought that Airi-chan, the number one girl that everyone wants to date, would date the ex-introvert Hajime? I always thought she would end up with Reiji. Honestly, Reiji became super quiet after what happened. I bet it traumatized him to hear Airi-chan say that she hates him. Either way, Yakubi-san, I can't believe you helped Hajime go up that much. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. Can you make me handsome while you're at it? What? Wait, me too! I want to be good looking and get a girlfriend! No, I'm lazy. Please! We're your best friends! Ugh, you guys are so annoying. Yakubi san! <sighs> I'm Ritsuki, an introverted nerd in my first year of college. Yo, nerd! Who are you reading manga again in our lecture today? What? What do you want? Who do you think you're talking to? Do I need to put you in pain to teach you a lesson? Uh, what do you want with my Ritsuki? Stay out of it! We're best friends. Why should I? Uh, uh, we'll get you back! You were lucky this time! As they said that, the delinquents ran away. Ritsuki, you okay? He's Haru. He's such a good friend of mine, I feel like I don't deserve him. Yeah, uh, thanks. No problem. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> You're the only one who tells me things like that. Oh yeah, I found a really good anime. Wanna come over to my place to watch it? Sh sure How do and I look like polar opposites from the outside, but we're actually both very nerdy. We had originally taken the same course and knew of each other. But we became friends when we bumped into each other at Manimate, a shop that sells anime stuff. Ah, oh, this season's anime is packed. I don't have time to watch them all. Yeah, last season was so bad. I think this season's best is Manikomi. Really? I think Mani Star Mani's dominating this season. Oh, it's Ritsuki and Haruto. What a coincidence. Hey, Keita Senpai. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hey, guys. Keita Senpai is our superior at the part-time job we work at. Just in time. 
I bought some souvenirs from a trip I took on holiday the other day. Souvenirs? Are you sure? Is it sweets or something? Here! Uh, huh? B uh, pills? What is that? It's not the illegal kind, is it? <laughs> it's not. This is said to be an ancient feminizing pill from that region. The feminizing pills? <laughs> it's not like we're in the world of anime. No way such a thing exists. Well, it might be a fake, but at least it's a fun souvenir, right? Here, you guys can have it. Keita-san, your choices are too good. Thank you. Only Keita-san would bring back something like that. Thank you. I'll be waiting for the review. <laughs> we might be girls when we see you next time. <laughs> Please, wait and see. Hey, Ritsuki. What? Wanna try the medicine Keita-san gave us? What? Haru, you actually believe in that? Hmm, not really. But I just wanna try it. It looks fun. <laughs> you shouldn't play with that. What if it's a dangerous drug or something? It'll be fine. Keita-senpai bought it just for us, man. Uh, that's what worries me even more. I was against it, but Haru ended up taking some. Uh, alright. Here goes nothing. Uh, okay. If you start feeling sick, just tell me. I'll call an ambulance right away. Alright. Uh... Hmm... You okay? Hmm... Nothing's happening. Are you feeling sick or anything? No, not really. Ah, oh, thank god. Really didn't want to call an ambulance from you taking feminizing pills. Ah, oh, what a letdown. If this was an anime, I'd become a really pretty girl and get all the boys causing a huge scene at school. This is real life. Of course it's fake. Besides, there's no guarantee you would turn into a pretty girl. What if you became really ugly? <laughs> that would be pretty funny too. Ugh, how lame. Let's just watch some more anime and go to sleep. Huh, what a quick shift change. After that, Haru and I forgot all about the pills and went to bed after watching some anime. Morning. Uh, what time is it now? <sighs> We're gonna miss the lectures. Hey, Haru, wake up. We're gonna be late. Uh, uh, who the hell is this guy? Oh no, Haru took those pills yesterday. Could it be him? What's with all the noise so early in the morning? Are you Haru? Huh? Stop talking nonsense. You need to go to the bathroom and look at yourself in the mirror. What? Just hurry up. All right, what's the matter? It's not easy dealing with people who are sleepwalking. What the hell is this? What am I supposed to do from now on? Will I be able to turn back? D don't ask me. Yo, nerd. Showing off your girlfriend or something? Don't get carried away just because you're with your pretty girlfriend. No, this is... I'm not his girlfriend! Stop saying that, asshole! W what's wrong with this girl? Oh, scary. Wait, we're sorry. Haru, calm down. How can I stay calm like this? <sighs> Did I seriously become a woman? <laughs> just look at yourself. I might not be. Right? I don't think so. You look like a really pretty girl. Don't call me that! S sorry I need to check if I really became a girl. Huh? How? Well... Um, you sure about this? You're the only exception. It'll be too late for you to regret it later. It's fine! Uh, okay, here I go. As it turned out, Haru was a real woman. Um, uh, Haru, is your body okay? Yeah, it's fine. I was reminded that I'm completely a woman after all. There's still a possibility I'll just turn back one day, right? Your mentality is insane. Is it? Since then, we tried checking up at the hospital and asked Keita-san if he knew how to reverse the effects, but we had no luck. Haru has been living as a woman ever since, and one day... Ritsuki, I need to talk to you. 
Huh? What is it? Uh, I haven't had my period for a long time. At first, I thought it was because I went from being a man to a woman, but I feel like my stomach's getting bigger. I think I'm pregnant. Huh? P pregnant uh, It was that time, wasn't it? S sorry Don't be sorry. It was consensual. I asked you to do it anyways. But the kid... What are we going to do with it? I... I would raise a child if I could. It's not that easy raising a child, you know. I actually lost my parents when I was young. I've been without them my whole life. So if I ever have kids, I want to make sure I take care of them. As lonely as I was, I don't want my kids to go through the same thing. I didn't know. All right. If you insist so much, I'll have the baby. Haru, you're the one that's giving birth. Are you really sure about this? It's not like there's anyone in particular I like at the moment, so I'm fine with it. I mean, I wouldn't want to terminate the pregnancy. I had no intentions of that in the first place. Even if you refused to be the father, I would have given birth and raised the baby on my own. Haru, thank you. A few months later... I'm your mother! It's so small. I'm the father. Haru, thank you so much for giving birth. This is just the beginning. Let's do our best to raise this kid together, okay? Yeah, I'll do my best. My best friend Haru, who was always there to protect me, gave birth to my child, and I became a father. I was now in the position of protecting both of them, and I was extremely determined to do so. Eventually, Haru and I got married while we were still in college. After graduating, I worked as an office worker, and Haru became a housewife. We now live together as a family with our kid Hiroto. Hey! Hiroto! No running in the house! But breakfast is not ready yet. It'll be ready soon, so please sit down and wait. Uh, okay. Uh, morning, you two. Oh, Dad! Morning! Morning, Ritsuki. Want breakfast? Of course. My mornings don't start until I eat your breakfast, Haru. Uh, hey! Stop embarrassing me! <laughs> Mom and Dad are so in love! D don't be silly! Yeah, we're so in love. Right! Ritsuki too! Why don't you stop talking and sit down? Breakfast is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm already sitting down. Yay! Breakfast time! Alright, bon appetit! Bye-bye! With Haru transforming into a woman, I ended up marrying her. I'm so happy I could marry Haru and raise a family with Hiroto as our son. I want to continue to live a happy life with Haru and Hiroto. And as for a second child, Haru and I are considering it. Extras. Today, I'm having a tea party with Mr. Moroboshi and Keita. Speaking of which, a long time ago, I gave some feminization pills to Ritsuki and Haru, two junior workers at my part-time job as a souvenir. And then, Haru actually turned into a girl. And you know what? Haru got pregnant and ended up marrying Ritsuki. After Haru gave birth to their first child, they graduated from college with the help of their parents. Since then, Ritsuki got a job and Haru became a housewife. They look so happy. Ritsuki and Haru are even considering having a second child. Keita, you're the worst. Yeah, I agree. Huh? What? How come? It all started because you turned Haru-san into a woman. They're happy after all. But Keita, you could have seriously damaged both of their lives, you know. Yeah, I'm very sorry about that. I didn't think the pill would actually work. At least it turned out to be a happy ending. Keita, you're still the worst. <laughs> yeah, Keita, you're a funny guy. <laughs> Don't attack me so much.
My name is Rikuto. I'm an elementary school student. Our family is not well off, and we even have trouble putting food on the table sometimes. Maybe that's why I'm kind of scrawny. And I guess that's why I get picked on at school. I would always play at a nearby playground. Hey everyone, this way! Come on, Erika! Wait for us! Hey, Erika, isn't that... Huh? Isn't he that... I'd really like to play with you guys. You really think we'd play with a penniless squirt like you, do you? Man, know your place! <laughs> Just won't fly, runt! <laughs> huh? Why not? I wanna play too! You're persistent. I'll give you that. But we're being polite. You're not getting the point! Here, this should make you understand. <laughs> Ow! Don't put me in the same category as you. We're not the same. Got that? Don't you even know how rich her family is? Compared to a little runt like you who can't even get enough to eat, you're way out of your league. Yeah, you'll just muddy poor Eric's reputation. Did you know that poor kids like you never make friends? Huh? Why is that? Because it's no fun, that's why. Seems obvious, doesn't it? How could you say that? Sorry, Runt. And please, don't even think of coming near me again. Oh boy, nobody to play with again. What do I do? I still don't have any friends. I guess being poor means having no friends to play with. Forever. Mr. Moroboshi? Mr. Moroboshi? Oh, uh, who's that cute girl? Pleased to meet you. My name is Nico. Do you know Mr. Moriboshi? He was around here someplace. Have you seen him? No. Uh, who is this Mr. Moroboshi you keep calling? I've been here for a while, and I haven't seen anybody like your Mr. Moroboshi, I don't think. Why are you here in the park all alone? Don't you have to go home or something? I live with my mom, and she works late, so there's nobody home. I would just be alone if I went home. Although, I'm alone here too. Anyways, that's why I prefer not going home. I'm sorry to hear that. I bet it must be hard on you. And poor kids like me can never make any friends. Huh? Why is that? This very rich girl named Erika always tells me this. That's not true. But, in fact, I do not have any friends. Hey, Nico, will you be my friend then? Uh, I would have to first get Mr. Moroboshi's permission. Does that mean no? Yeah, for now at least. <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> sorry for him. Hey, what's your name? It's Rikuto. Okay, Rikuto. Leave it all to me. Huh? The following day, I asked Erika if I wanted to play with them. I was rejected, but much worse. Hey, Erika, can I play with you guys? Didn't I tell you yesterday never to come near me? Have you already forgotten? Are you daft? Of course I remember, but I really want to play with everyone. You sure don't get it, do you? This is much more suitable for you. Get lost, Runt. Scram! Get out of our sight! Please, cut it out! Stop! Nico said she would do something, but nothing. She hasn't done a thing. Yeah, maybe I should come to terms with it. I will never have friends. Oh, there he is. Mr. Moroboshi? That's the kid I was talking about. That's Rikudo. So, you're Rikudo, is that right? Yes, that's me. This is Mr. Moroboshi. I talked to him about you and he said he wanted to help out. Huh? Really? Are you going to help me? Sure thing. So... You're going to be my friend? Is that it? No, not exactly. Huh? Then how are you going to help me out? 
Well, Rikuto, I'm going to help you make friends. Really? Yes. If you're going to make friends, you're going to have to get through my tough training. Are you ready for that? Training? Well, if that's what's needed to make friends... Okay, if it means making friends, I would do anything in my power. With this, I began Mr. Muraboshi's tough training sessions. In order to make friends, I must first build up my body and improve my stamina. I started off with weightlifting and running exercises. I can't take this anymore! And in order to make real long-lasting friends, I need to invigorate my brain too! Make sure you solve all of these problems without making any errors. Got that? Ah, uh, I'm finally done! Okay, good job. Now for the final touch. If you're going to make friends, you also need a calm and collected mindset. You have to be mentally strong. Calm your mind by meditating and think positively and analyze who you are. Mr. Moroboshi made me do this on a daily basis. Ow! After 10 or 12 years enduring Mr. Moroboshi's training, I became Mr. Moroboshi's top aide. That was a great presentation. It looks like we successfully landed this huge account. Good job, Rikuto. It was because of all your advice, Mr. Moroboshi. I researched all the subcontractors as you advised. Rikuto, you've really come a long way. I'm so glad that I was able to provide you with the training. Thanks so much, Mr. Moroboshi. I'm in your debt. I'm going to a meeting with the president. Go on home. You deserve it. Alright. Talk to you later, sir. Because I really put my heart and soul into Mr. Moroboshi's relentless training, I was ultimately not able to make any good friends. But I was able to land a job at a corporation run by Moroboshi Industries. And currently, I earn a six-figure salary, which my mom certainly appreciates after many years of sacrificing for me. After all that's happened, I'm satisfied by the way things turned out. I really appreciate what Mr. Moroboshi has done for me. What? Who is that? Wearing those battered clothes? Is that... Erika? Are you really going to the interview wearing... that? I... I didn't have any money. This was all I could come up with. No money to buy clothes. Are you for real? Just wanted to show off that you're young and wild or something. So obvious. No, it's true! I have no money. Hey, come on girls. She's here for the interview. Don't give her a hard time. Hmm, is that guy a nice guy? There you go, babe. Can I buy you? Will this much cover it? <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> that was a doozy. <laughs> Man, she's drooling. She must really want the moolah. <laughs> you may just be able to buy her. Unbelievable. <laughs> I was just kidding around, but <laughs> maybe I'll really go for it. I can't believe what I'm hearing. The guy's despicable. Okay, that's it. This isn't right. That's way too inadequate, buddy. Hey, aren't you... I'll buy her. With this much. Is that Rikuto? Huh? What's it got to do with you, buddy? This is none of your business. Butt out, would you? That will do, sir, or your superiors will hear about this little incident. Is that what you want? Pfft, take her. You're perfect for her. <laughs> yeah, a perfect match. And she'll definitely fail the interview. <laughs> do what you want with that little floozy. Let's get out of here. What a waste of time. What the hell are you doing here anyways? Why you... How could you... Rakuto, even talk to me this way. Sorry to break your bubble, but everything you say no longer phases me. I've had plenty of experience with the likes of you. I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you really dressed that way because you're poor? What happened to that company your father was running? When I was in high school, things went downhill and, well, the company went bankrupt. From then, we've basically been quite poor. I see. Well then. We need to do something about that. 
Come on, let's get going. Huh? What are you... Pick out anything you'd like. What? I can't do that. I said I would buy it with this, so go ahead, be my guest. Or are you going to wander around town dressed like that? Huh? Oh, hell. Okay then. Looks wonderful on you, miss. Okay, we'll take the whole thing. You don't have to pack it up, she'll wear it home. Pack up her old stuff. Yes, sir. I'll cut the tags off right away. Rakuto, are you sure about this? Don't worry about it. I can afford it. Oh, yeah. I see. I've already finished work and I'm just gonna go home. How about you? You got somewhere to go? Home? Uh, a net cafe. I wouldn't call that home. Please, leave me alone. <sighs> Alright then, come over to my place. You said buy me, so does this mean... As I said earlier, I have had plenty of mental training ever since elementary school, so... Don't worry about me having any lewd thoughts with a pretty girl around. That's kind of disrespectful in itself, too. Well, until things settle down, make yourself at home. Yeah, thanks. I remember a long time ago, I used to bully you. So, why would you even think of helping me out? That's because I know how it feels to be without money. Ugh, I'm so sorry that I did that to you back in elementary school. It was so rude. I don't really remember those days anyway. I try not to linger on such things for long. But, please, let me repay you in some way. It's fine, forget about it. You may think it's all too late, but I have to make things right. Somehow. Please, let me. Okay, then. Make me dinner, perhaps? I'm a lousy cook. Here, take this. There's a supermarket down the street. I don't need that. Can I use anything I see in the fridge? Yeah, sure. Okay, ready. Enjoy! Wow, that was fast. Is this really edible? Huh? This is delicious! Didn't you know? Poor people really know how to cook. I'm surprised you didn't know that. <laughs> You're completely different from when we were kids. Huh? Would you stop bringing that up? From that day on, we ended up living together. At first, it was a bit uncomfortable. But gradually, we got to know each other. Going to the karaoke bar and shopping downtown, just having a good time. We would often catch a movie together. I eventually became accustomed to being with her hand enjoying life. I figured this lifestyle would continue forever, but... But then one day, after several months together... I'm home! Erika would always greet me with a smile and a hug. But today, she was nowhere to be seen. Huh, is she out shopping? Huh? What's this? Now what am I gonna do? All alone again. Hey, what are you doing here? I've been looking all over for you. Rakuto! How did you- Come back with me, please. I can't be a burden to you anymore. I'm just a freeloader. A poor girl sponging off you. You're not a burden at all. Yeah, at first, back in school, I thought you were an awful person, but- being with you for the last couple of months, those thoughts just disappeared. But you don't want a girl like me. Poor. I've got nothing. I can't imagine being without you. I think you feel the same way, don't you? So, I want you to come back. Let's give it another try. Ugh. Well, if you insist, I guess... yeah. Okay. Then... Could we walk home holding hands? Would you mind? Well, if you insist. <laughs> Before I got a friend, I ended up with a lover. Strange how life works. Families and dramas and movies have a dad and a mom, and they're all smiling happily. My name is Sora. I'm a fourth grader. I don't have a dad. To be precise, I did up until a while ago, but he left us for someone else he liked. In the adult world, when that happens, they call it.
A vaporization. Sora, you don't have a dad, right? My mom told me I had an affair with a young girl and left. I guess your mom's really ugly for him to have an affair. Oh, your mom's ugly. Right, how can you come to school when you don't have a dad? I'd be too embarrassed. Me too. S sorry it's not my fault my dad left. An apology from a poor kid like you doesn't mean anything. Why don't you go home already and help out your mom or something? I'm sorry. I told you a poor kid's apology is worthless. Apologizing is gonna make him appear. You don't even have the money to buy me candy to apologize, do you? <laughs> I grew up in a terrible environment like this, so I've always had bad luck, and I've always been stupid. On top of that, I wasn't athletic either. I'm worthless. One day... Whoa! Redcoon, you're so cool! That was eight rows! Ren is so cool. You're smart, athletic, and popular. That's not fair. I wish I could be like him. Hey, stop chattering over there and jump! Aw, I'm so bad at gymnastics. Ouch! <laughs> Did you guys see that? He crashed face first. <laughs> Poor fatherless and unathletic. Seriously, Sora can't do anything. <laughs> Apparently, people like me are called losers in society. There's nothing I'm good at now and won't be in the future too. I'll just continue to live in misery. I'm home. Ugh. Huh? Don't look at me with those eyes. W what? You're starting to look like him every day. I can't believe he evaporated with that woman from who knows where. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Why are you my child? Uh, I'm sorry. People make fun of me at school and my mom doesn't like me at home. Why did you just disappear with that man? But, I guess I can't blame her since I'm such a bad kid. Okay, the next problem's a little more difficult. Let's give it a try. How about Renkun? Yes, since the angle of A is 60 degrees and the angle of B is 50 degrees, I think the angle of C is 360 minus 110, which is 240 degrees. Great, great job. Looks like you've been studying hard. Renkun, it's amazing how you're athletic but also smart. Right, you're so cool, Renkun. You can do anything. Didn't he win an award for his book report for summer vacation? Wow! All right, how about the next problem? Okay, what's the next problem, Sora? Y yes! Uh, um... It's okay if you make a mistake. Um, 70 degrees? Ah, uh, that was close. For this problem... <laughs> How'd you come up with 70 degrees? What an idiot. Ren, cut it out. Don't say things like that. But I think it's his fault for getting the problem wrong. Even I could have figured that one out. You really are stupid. You can't play sports and you can't study either. What are you going to do in the future? Maybe a homeless? Oh no, Sora's going to be homeless. Homeless, 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 homeless. Everybody, cut it out. They're right. I grew up in a poor single mother household, and I can't play sports or study either. Maybe being homeless is the only way out. Then one day, something happened that changed my life. A homeless. Am I really gonna lay out cardboard boxes to sleep on? Seems uncomfortable. Uh, huh, an actor. What was that? Doctor? Well, here we go again. The visualization phenomenon. This time, it seems that future occupations are being visualized. Let's see what the people are saying. I'm job hunting this year, and my visualization says civil service. I want to work for a trading company, but I guess not. Maybe a civil servant would suit me better. <laughs> She's always wanted to be a pastry maker. She cried and cried yelling how she couldn't be a pastry maker. I want to be a pastry shop maker! Alright, alright, let's just ignore this, okay? <laughs> My boyfriend, who I was thinking of marrying, has a future job as a bartender. I thought he'd have a secure future because he went to a good university. But he's a bartender. Isn't that such a disappointment? I'm not sure if I should break up with him after all. I work at a bank right now, but the visualization showed up as a veterinarian. 
I was thinking of going back to college to become a veterinarian, so I feel a little encouraged. I think I'll give it my best shot. But what a surprise. Unemployed means he won't have a job, right? Nobody likes that. Being unemployed is so lame. You're a firefighter, that's so cool. If my house catches on fire, help me out. <laughs> I got you. G good morning. What? Sora's gonna be a doctor? Wow, a doctor! So cool! Wow, that's my first time seeing a doctor come up. You're actually pretty capable, huh? Uh, uh, I don't know. N no way Sora's a doctor! He's poor, fatherless, can't study or play sports, and he's still gonna be a doctor? What are you talking about? You're gonna be unemployed. Yeah, don't talk to the doctor like that. Yeah, it's called a loser's hell. If you think about it, just because you can study in elementary school doesn't mean you can after that. True. My treatment at school changed completely from that day. Until now, I was poor, stupid, and unathletic, so people always made fun of me. But I became popular as soon as everyone realized that I was going to be a doctor. Hey Sora, let's exchange candy together on tomorrow's field trip. But I can't buy candy. No problem, all you have to do is sit with me, sora -kun. Can I join? Hmm, you're kinda dorky since you're an engineer. I'd rather have Kaito the firefighter. Really? Then let me join too. Uh, um, can I? What? Can you please stop talking to me? You're unemployed. Unemployed people are kinda dirty. Go away. Err. Even at home. I'm home. Oh my goodness, my little doctor, you're home! It's curry tonight, your favorite! I also bought sashimi for you. They say eating fish makes you smarter. I guess feeding him fish when he was little paid off after all. Yeah, thanks. I sent you to so many lessons at cram school because we had high hopes for you! Unemployed! What a disgrace. I almost want you to pay me back for all that I've spent on you. But... I'll just ignore this and give it my best shot. You think you can change what's been vigilized? You're not our son anymore. We should just leave him in an institution somewhere. Dad, Mom... The visualization phenomenon heavily impacted our lives, and a month passed. Oh man, I've been popular with the girls ever since the visualization show that I'll become a lawyer. I didn't think I'd pass the exam, but with this visualization, I gained confidence so I might be able to pass. I feel like this is what they mean by life full of roses. What? Did it have any influence on me? I'm still a neat. Always have been, always will be. Am I willing to change? It's already been visualized, so I guess I'll be a neat for the rest of my life. Considering my age, I thought I'd have to put up with the company even if I didn't like it. But when I saw that I was a banker, I decided to look for a job. And the process went much smoother than I thought it would. My salary went up and the work environment is so much better, so it's a good thing. My wife is also happy about it. <laughs> and 15 years later... Ouch! Uh, Dr. Sora, that hurts! I know it hurts, but if you don't do this, you won't be able to use your leg again. How did you break your leg while bowling in the first place? Because I tried to show off to Maimi-chan and threw it with style, but I lost balance. Then you fell into the gutter and dropped the bowling ball on your foot? My leg is in pain, and so is my heart from getting rejected by Maimi-chan. <sighs> Doctor, will Keita-san recover? With proper rehab, he'll be back to normal. Please support him with this rehab. Of course. You're lucky, Keita-san. Dr. Sora says you'll recover. Seriously? Oh, thank you, Doc! Rehab. Do your best, okay? And so, I actually became a doctor. I was poor, came from a single mother, and wasn't the smartest kid in the world. But becoming a doctor came with many obstacles. Hard was an understatement. I wasn't very happy that the visualization changed the attitude of those around me. But it would be a lie to say the visualization didn't encourage me. I sometimes wonder how things would have turned out if the visualization didn't show my future that day. And there was one more person whose life changed dramatically. Money. Please, give me some money. It was Ren. Ren? Is that you? Sora? Are you okay? Well, I'm as good as I look. Who would have thought the visualization would be right? 
I was working so hard on my lessons and my studies. Now look at me. Uh, what are you doing nowadays? I became a doctor, just like it said. A doctor, huh? Incredible. Ren was such a bright kid in elementary school and came from a good family. If it weren't for the visualization, I'm sure he wouldn't have given up and led a happy life. Wanna come over? Ha! Huh. I never thought I'd see the day you'd feel pity for me. You're a doctor, and you live in a big house, right? I'm fine with this raggedy place of cardboard. That day, if the visualizations didn't happen, our lives would have been different. I might have turned out like this, but I don't think it's right to let the visualization dictate our lives. Now that it's gone, who knows what your future holds? What do you think? You want to give it a shot? Y you Why are you trying to help me? Back then, I... I know how hard it is to be pushed around by your parents. I think if you just try one more time, you can become a doctor or a lawyer or whatever you want to be. Don't you think? Why don't you start over and give it your best? Z thanks. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!